All right, so in the last module, we added our branding and style for Contoso Coffee. So now let's work on some web pages. So again, if you've already, if you got out, you're coming back to this, we want to go and edit our website within the Design Studio. And the very first thing we're going to do is when it comes up, of course, we're going to see our changes that we put in from last time. And again, we, you know, recap on the styling. We have the colors here. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to edit the header. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close the co-pilot. We're not going to use the co-pilot for these steps. But again, this is something you could experiment with a little bit later on if you'd like. So I'm going to click on the header. I'm going to choose edit site header. And now we're going to have a pop up here. So I'm going to clear out this um, site title and that's going to be blank. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload an image because I want to upload the Contoso Coffee logo. And we're going to come up to this add image, which allows us, we could actually look at some stock images or anything. We're going to upload an image from the student files that are part of the student package. So I've uploaded the header. I'm going to select this. I'm going to add it here into the, into the edit site header. Um, and then the other thing for the alt text, let's change this to Contoso Coffee. And then on the, the, the branding, let's actually change the branding. We're going to make sure that instead of that background is red, we're going to change that to the white color. So I want to change this here. Now we can actually create unique brand colors for a header, but we're just going to use the ones that are available to us. Now we have our header. Now let's go all the way down. Let's modify our footer. We're going to now go into edit background. And here what we're also going to do is um, select the footer and we're going to change that to red. So it's going to be white at the top, red at the bottom. And then the other thing we want to do is edit our text here. So we're just going to select that text and we'll just backspace it out. And then we're going to paste in the value from that we have in the student lab manual. So we paste it in the disclaimer here and then I'm going to um, change the color to white so it stands out. So that's looking pretty good. So now we've completed the task of completing the header and footer. So that's all done. Now the next thing we want to do is we're going to add some sections here to the site. So below the header, we're going to click on the little plus, and this is going to add a new section. And now I want to add a one third to the right section, or actually a one third to the left. So we're going to have a narrow column and then a wider column. So I'm going to choose this. So now we can see we have these sections laid out here. That was pretty easy. Again, I didn't have to do any coding for that. And the what I want to do is now here in the wider section, um, we want to upload an image and we're going to choose the hero image. So we have the hero image here. I'm going to insert that. That's great. We have that here. And then now we what we want to do is begin to add some text here. So I'm going to add the text. I'm going to switch this from paragraph to heading one. And this is where we're going to start to put in um, some of the content. Now, what you can do is you can uh, put in the content that you see in the student manual, or you can start to put your own content in um, if you'd like, or you could even use Copilot. You can start playing with the Copilot for text to see what it would generate. Um, it'd be pretty interesting to see. Um, here, I'm just going to add another text component underneath. And again, um, Let's change this just to small text, um, just so we have enough room. And we'll add in our other piece of content here. Now, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to add a button. So I'm going to go and add the button. And I'm going to change the button label to create a supplier account. And this is going to be a link to a URL. Now, what are we going to put in here? We're actually going to put in a link to the um, registration page that will exist as part of this template. It's actually a part of all Power Pages um, templates. So we're going to turn that on. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to capture the page name here. So in order to get that, we're going to, you know, uh, once again, preview our site so we can grab that particular URL. So I'm actually in the preview of the site. I'm just going to grab the URL here because we're going to want to replace that in our design studio. So let's go back here. 
And again, I'm going to go into edit that button and we're going to paste that into our URL. Oh, it didn't save my, um, to do that again, create a supplier account. And we'll just select OK. And then the other thing we want to do here is um, begin to um, edit, make sure that uh, everything looks good here. Maybe we want to center that button. We could do a few different things here. Not a big deal. Okay, so we've added this section to this part. Now what I want to do is we're going to add in a another section, but this time we're going to add a spacer. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the background. And now instead of choosing a color, which I could do, I'm going to choose an image. Um, again, you could choose either images or um, just uh, colors. But let's uh, find the background image. And I've loaded the spacer.png file. That's going to be loaded as part of our um, image assets. I'm going to choose this for the background. And then let's increase the width just a little bit. Let's make this 25 pixels. So I'm going to click on the gear icon and we'll move that up to 25 pixels. So there, it's beginning to take shape. <laughs> it is beginning to look a lot like um, what we want this site to look like. Now, the other thing we have is a whole bunch of other sections. Um, so let's just remove, to start with, remove the other sections. So all you need to do is highlight them, hit the delete key, and let's just go through and clear out everything because we really want to make this site our own, make it look just for specifically for Contoso Coffee. So we've added all this. Now, there, if you look in the student lab manual, there are a couple more sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add those sections. You can do that as well. It should be pretty straightforward. You want to add you know, three columns, multiple columns, and upload images. So this is a good time for you to play and experiment a little bit um, and take a look at the images. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and you can follow along. So I've gone through, I've added all the text here, we've added the images, we have this. Let's take a look at our site, see what it looks like. And it's um, looking pretty good. It's um, taking sometimes a second for this image to come up, but overall we're getting on the right track with our site. So let's move on to the next module.